this function has made some changes. So that is the reason why now when I run this code, you can see that you will see the output getting rather than passing just the head, you have to pass a double pointer here. So when you pass double pointer here, you increase the star here. And what happens is that this becomes a double pointer. And what is a double pointer? Hey guys, welcome to our channel Coders Arcade. This is Ashang David and in today's video, we are going to talk about call by value versus call by reference in C or C++ program. We are going to take an example of C++ today and I'm going to explain you the details about the call by value and call by reference. So before I start this video, guys, I would like to request you people to please like, share and subscribe to our channel Code is Arcade and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you won't miss any future updates. So now let's start the topic. So if you remember, guys, uh, we have done our linked list concept and recently only in the linked list concept, we have done our function called as void insert at head, right? So in insert at head, you see that when I am creating this function, I am basically passing the reference of the head rather than just passing the head. So what does this mean? In that video, I've explained this a little bit, but I wanted to create a separate video for this so that you can understand about how this is working. What is the importance of passing the reference of the head and how, how it is going to affect your program? So that is what I wanted to explain in today's video. And that is why I am going to take an example here and I'm going to explain you exactly what is the difference between call by value and call by reference. This is a very important concept. If you don't understand this concept, then a half of your data structures problems won't be solved and uh, this is a major problem issue that so many students face uh, while they don't remember the concept of call by value and call by reference so very important topic guys this is so let's just start so we are going to talk about an example program here so let's say we have a program for uh, just i've taken a basic skeleton of the program here what i'm going to do here is i'm going to create a program where actually uh, we are going to swap two numbers here in this case so let me create two variables here i'm going to create int a equals to i'm going to say this as 10 and i'm going to create int b equals to i'm going to create it as 20 so we have two variables here let's say and uh, in these two variables uh, we have a equals to 10 b equals to 20 well let's say we want to swap these two variables and swap these two values let's say 10 and 20 so if i want to swap these two values here Let's say I'm using a function here. Let's name this function as void swap and everyone knows how the swap function is working here. So if you if you know the traditional way of doing swapping, you might have gone across this kind of logic a lot of time where we uh, write the temp variable and we swap it. Today we are going to see that only. So let's say I'm going to pass a one uh, two arguments here that is going to be int a and I'm going to take it as int b these two values will these this function is going to take these two values here which i am going to later on call here let's say for example i'm going to say here swap and i'm going to pass my uh, a comma b so you can see here i'm passing a comma b here okay now before i do anything i'm going to just print out c out i'm going to say here i'm going to say here before swapping um here a equals to i'm going to print that a value so that is going to be a and I'm going to print um, b equals to, I'm going to say b equals to, and uh, here I'm going to print uh, b value, okay? And after that, end l. So I have printed something like this, where before swapping a equals to this a and b equals to this b here in this case. Now, um, right now, if I run this code, so if I run this code, you can see that before swapping and it, it is printing a equals to 10 and b equals to 20 as required. Now, same thing I will do after swapping also. Okay, so I'm going to say something like this here and I'm going to say here after swapping. Okay, so when I run this code right now, nothing will happen. It just prints both before swapping and after swapping both same values because we have not written the logic of the uh, function here we have called that function but we have not written the logic of that function yet so let's write go ahead and write the logic here so i'm going to write take a temp variable into temp equals to i'm going to take it as a 
and uh, so in temp the value a goes inside and then later on i'm gonna say a equals to b so i'm asking b you come into a and then later on uh, b equals to temp so temp will give the value to this b so in this case the swapping will happen so what do you think what will be the results in this case when i run this code actually you can see that still the swapping doesn't happen here so you can see that the swapping is not happening now why it is not happening if you are knowing this concept tell us in the comment section below i'm going to explain this anyways uh, but we are going to see actually you see the actual swapping is not happening here but uh, when i copy this when i cut this sorry i'm going to cut this off and i'm going to paste it here and i'm going to say here after swapping in the swap function you can see now when i run this code so when i run this code you can see that the swapping is happening what does this means guys so basically here right now i am doing call by value where i am calling the function calling the function this function right here while i'm passing the values just the values a and b here so what is happening is that see this is a main function and this is a void type of function always remember we have created a void type of function this happens only with the void type of functions but those functions which return some value let's say it has some int value or it has some float value those functions won't happen this uh, problem why because these functions are not actually this void type of functions are not actually reporting back to the main function it is not returning any value to the swap so actually main function is not getting to know exactly where the swapping has been done so in the original place in the main function the changes are not made and that is the reason why this is not gonna work so same problem was happening here also if you see in uh, the linguist concept here if i don't pass this ampersand of head because it's a void type of function when i call it from the main function what happens is that this function call won't work why because it is a void type of function here void insert at head and it is taking two values okay so head and the val so whatever changes will be made by this function will not be reflected back to the main function and our linked list won't get edited this is what i wanted to actually explain the same phenomenon i am actually explaining here in this program with the help of the swap function here now you might say uh, why you are not returning uh, int a and b so the basics of c and c plus plus says that you cannot return more than one value at a time in a function in the c or c plus plus so it's no point of returning i cannot just write return a uh, comma b uh, to the to the function call right here because that's not valid here and this is the problem why uh, we are encountering this kind of problem this after swap function will work here after swap function or uh, sorry after swap uh, this print statement see out statement will work here but when i'm printing it here it is not working guys so this is the problem you can see here now how to resolve this problem so to resolve this problem as you can see that we have passed in the linguist concept we have passed the ampersand of it same kind of thing i have to actually do in this part also in this function also in the swap function also where instead of passing the just the values just the values a and b i have to actually pass ampersand of a and uh, ampersand of b in this case so now instead of passing the values i am passing the uh, reference so let me tell you about what exactly is reference so guys here i have created another file here and for you guys to ex understand to explain this i am taking a variable here a and i am gonna print just the so let's say i am taking in a equals to 10 for example now if i just print a in this case what will happen when i run this code you see that it is printing 10 okay just i'm printing a okay so a is returning me 10 value because it has 10 value assigned to it but when i say ampersand of a now when i run this code you can see that this time it is returning me a hexadecimal value this hexadecimal value is what we are actually passing here in the swap function instead of passing 10 and 20 we are passing the hexadecimal value or the address this is how address looks like so basically guys this is how your address looks like in this case this is your address here and this address has been actually been passed into our 
swap function. Now you can see that it is showing me an error. Why it is showing me an error? Because the function which is accepting these two values are having the parameters as normal variables. Now these are not pointers guys. So remember this that whenever you are passing the reference or the address here, those should be pointers. Why pointers? Because we know this that pointers are the variables which holds the address of another variable. So in this case, uh, we are passing the address of A and B. So A and B, this in the parameters inside the swap function won't actually take up the addresses directly. We have to declare them as pointers here. You can see that I am declaring them as pointers. So now this error has been gone in this case. Right guys? So now the problem occurs here inside this because we are using the same exact parameter uh, variables inside the body of the function. So in this case, I will, I will have to make them also as a pointer. So I'm going to take it as int temp equals to star of a and then star of a equals to star of b, star of b equals to temp. So in this case, everything is now changed to a pointer here and rather than swapping 10 and 20, we are actually swapping the addresses by storing the addresses into these pointers variables and swapping those pointers which will actually make the change into the whole program itself. You got my point what I'm trying to say. So and what is the point of passing the address basically here in this case? So imagine it like this. So imagine that there are two rooms and in those two rooms, there are two different people sitting here in this case. Let's say this room A is 10 and room B is 20. Okay, let's say this is room 1 and this is room 2. Now, if I am saying 10, you go to room B and B, you go to room 10 and I'm doing with that this function. What happens is that this function tells that, okay, this value is swapped, but the function doesn't tell back the main function that the values have been changed. But now, uh, in when I'm passing the references here, what is happening here is that when the function is making the change, actually the function is changing the memory here. Memory in the sense, uh, the actual changes are made into your RAM. Variables are created into your RAM, right? So, instead of swapping a and uh, instead of swapping 10 and 20 we are swapping int a and int b together so basically this is a change which is permanent into your ram memory and this will actually affect the whole program itself so in this case the main function also gets to know that the function this function has made some changes so that is the reason why now when i run this code you can see that you will see the output getting swapped here after, even after you have written the after swap function after swap uh, print a statement inside your main function still the value gets swapped here so this is what i wanted to explain basically always remember whenever you're working with a white type of function and whenever you are working with multiple values into white type of function the changes made by that function won't actually make the difference here because the values the original values will remain the same but when you are just passing the pointers here and passing the whole reference in this case the changes made by this function is actually reflected back to your main function and this is what you call as call by reference so reference meaning i'm calling the function by passing the reference so in the interviews if they ask you what is the difference between call by value and call by reference just don't say this that passing the values and calling the function or passing the reference and calling the function no you have to say properly in front of an interviewer the difference between call by value and call by reference is that when you do call by value the changes made by that function is not reflected back to the original place but when we are passing the reference the changes made by that function will reflect back to the original place that is the main function as well and this is what i wanted to explain here so now if we go back to our um, void insert at head in the linked list if i don't pass this head reference the whole point here is that it won't work in this case why because when the head is passed the value of head is passed but not the reference of the head is passed so this function which is going to actually make the changes into the head will not be able to um, actually the changes will be made but only it will remain inside this function only but the main function won't get to know uh, what changes this function made and this is a critical function which is gonna insert the node at the head and that is the reason why I'm passing the ampersand of it. Now one more thing you might ask you are passing uh, we are passing the in the in the swap function in the swap uh, program we are passing ampersand of head and ampersand of b in the call but here I'm not passing the ampersand of head here 
now you can see if i pass ampersand of head here it gives an error uh, it cannot take the value so if i have to remove this part you can see that it started giving me an error here right here why because you see the difference here when i was passing the reference of a and b the a and b were normal variables here in the main function but when i'm passing the ampersand of head here head was already a pointer here and you are trying to pass the address of al already created pointer that means you are passed you are trying to pass the address of a pointer rather than address of a variable here we are passing the address of a variable but here if you try to pass the address of a pointer you cannot do it like this why because this is not a normal variable to accept this value rather than passing just the head you have to pass a double pointer here so when you pass double pointer here you increase the star here and what happens is that this becomes a double pointer and what is a double pointer double pointer is a pointer which holds the address of another pointer in this case so you can you have to keep in mind if you don't want to write ampersand of head here you can always pass a double pointer here i will explain this more thoroughly in our other function in cert at position function where i'll explain you the use of uh, double pointer there well right now my other part of the program is not working why because i have to change wherever i have used head i have to make one star right there okay so i'll make the star here and i'll add star here now this is gonna work fine so double pointer will hold the address so now this case now you can pass this ampersand of head here so that means ampersand of head has to be passed here also ampersand of head passed here also ampersand yeah so ampersand of head will be passed here now like regularly like how i am passing it here in the swap function so if you want to do call by value like this you can do it like this using a double pointer and usually in your placement rise when companies uh, you you are uh, actually writing in uh, writing a technical coding round you might be getting these kind of uh, you know double pointers in it and they will ask you to fill this kind of function so in that case don't get confused by this we are just passing the reference we want to just pass the reference of this head not just the head and that is the reason why now double pointers was becoming very much uh, you know confusing and that is the reason why i thought that um, instead of writing double pointers here there is another way you can do it you can just pass one you know star here and you can pass one reference here like this and you can remove this stars from here now okay so now what you need to do is you cannot you don't have to write this ampersand of an ampersand of an ampersand of it again and again in the function call you can directly pass just the head and this function makes sure that it only accepts the reference this is a reference variable guys okay i am creating a reference variable which will only accept the reference of the particular head that we are trying to pass in this case so this is the importance of call by value and call by reference guys and i hope that this is very much clear to all of you guys okay so one thing i will just run this code and show you the difference here when i am doing running this linked list program it is actually doing insert at head you can see that i have uh, in the main function i am passing insert at head 10 20 30 uh, 10 20 30 here so first 10 is getting inserted and 20 and 30 here is getting also inserted in the output but when i remove this ampersand of head here and when i run this code here you can see that nothing is inserting getting inserted at the head only the tail function is working because in the tail function we have passed the ampersand of head and this is what i wanted to explain you guys so this is the difference between call by value and call by reference and this is a good example to show you uh, the difference between call by value and call by reference the swap program is very good in order to explain you this and this is what i wanted to explain in this video guys so if you like this video give us a thumbs up if you have any doubts tell us in the comment section below i will try to clear your doubt as much as possible as soon as possible and uh, don't forget to like share and subscribe to our channel code is arcade and don't forget to press the bell icon as well so that you won't miss any future updates well this is ashank david signing off and uh, i'll see you guys in the next one